the JAMA Network. I'm Roger Stoop. I'm the chairman of the Department of Oncology and the Cancer Center at University Hospital here in Zurich. In 2005, we came up, or some colleagues came up with this new technology, how to treat cancer with alternating tumor treating fields. Now, my job is to then see whether this actually, what we have seen in the laboratory, holds true in the clinic, and we designed a prospective clinical trial uh, to actually evaluate whether this would work in a disease called glioblastoma. Why glioblastoma? This is a regional treatment, so we were looking for a disease that actually also has mostly local regional disease extension. And glioblastoma is actually a disease where you have local recurrence and local uh, disease control as a major issue. This study was designed to prove or disprove that tumor treating fields in addition to standard temozolomide maintenance chemotherapy actually increases progression free and overall survival. The study design was a randomized prospective trial with a two to one randomization from st standard treatment versus the experimental treatment. This study recruited a total of 695 patients in over 80 institutions worldwide, Asia, US, of course, with over half of the patients coming from the US and Europe. And what we are reporting on today is actually on the first 315 patients where we have mature follow-up, that means a minimum follow-up of uh, 18 months and a median follow-up of over 30 months. All patients received standard treatment, which was first radiation plus temozolomide, and then they were randomized to either maintenance temozolomide alone or maintenance temozolomide plus tumor treating fields. We demonstrated that progression-free survival, the primary endpoint of this study, as well as overall survival, were prolonged, consistently prolonged, in patients treated with temozolomide plus tumor treating fields. We increased median overall survival by three months, both for progression-free and overall survival. So for overall survival, from 16.6% uh, to 19.6%, and for uh, progression-free survival from uh, four months to 7.1 months. IDMC saw the results on the first 315 patients in this interim analysis. They recommended that the results are going to be released in order to actually make this treatment available for everybody. Once we have followed up, sufficient follow-up on all 695 patients uh, randomized, we should be able to better understand who are the patients who respond and benefit from the treatments and who are the ones who do not benefit. We will also analyze why the patients fail. Is it because the tumor is progressing outside the tumor treating fields or is it inside the tumor treating fields? Are there sp a particular molecular features for this? Importantly, and well beyond the field of neuro-oncology and brain cancer, actually we have demonstrated a proof of principle that such a device and such an approach with tumor treating fields is actually a valid anti-cancer therapy. And now we will gonna start investigating that in other tumor types.